Sue Barker. Uh, it's not Sue Barker. <laughs> Keep your eye masks on. Presenting a little um, bit of VT of people who paint with their willies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Or a big Belgian bloke in a nappy, being having his nappy changed by his uh, by his wife. Our special guest is here. Oh, okay. Uh, we've bought uh, two BBC Sounds orange uh, eye masks. Are these actually BBC Sounds? No. Oh. But Do they, if they work well, can I keep them? You can, but look at them. I don't think they're going to be great. Are they new? They are brand new, yeah. They've yeah, got was... a nice nose cover. I'll yeah. take my sun... Oh, why am I wearing my sunglasses? Like <laughs> a fool. So whack on your oh, eye Oh, my masks. hair's going to be all messed up, Dave. Don't this worry. Is a... Oh, that is quite comfy, but you wouldn't want to lie on your face. Okay. So, so who is it? Is it, is it Jeff Hurst? No, 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 right. Stop guessing with with silly guesses. So what we'll do is we'll have our guest uh, enter the studio. You've both got your eye masks on. Is it Harry Shearer from The Simpsons? No. I've met him. Have, have you? you? Yeah, I shook his hand. Great. Oh, fair play. Um, and they'll come in. Is it Serena Williams? It's not, I don't think we've once mentioned Serena Williams uh, on this Sue. show in other, any of its iterations. Sue Barker. Uh, it's not Sue Barker. <laughs> Keep your eye masks on. Presenting a little um, bit of VT of people who paint with their willies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Or a big Belgian bloke in a nappy, being having his nappy changed by his uh, by his wife. Yeah, that's more disturbing. <laughs> it's just I just remember it. So what we've got, so we've 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 bought yeah, a, a guest dummy in, in his this mouth. Is, it was this... quite weird. All right, lads. Okay, Sorry. focus, concentrate, <laughs> please. Cat, there's a lot going on whilst you two are just. It's a cat, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> Is it just, the cast of cats? It's not the cast of cats, no. Uh, we've been on the radio in various forms, various iterations, for 10 years today. And it's our digital decade, Dave. It is your digital decade, and we've covered uh, a lot of stuff, haven't we? And we've we've um, uh, extolled the virtues of many uh, uh, public names, famous faces, mm -hmm. from all walks of media and life. Yeah. Uh, and we have one here today. Yeah. Uh, and uh, they will introduce themselves uh, in a very certain way. Well, the launch of Radio 1 on Saturday, September the 30th, <gasps> 1967, is rightly regarded no. as a landmark in post-war British popular culture. It didn't do my career any harm either. Pop a doodle do. Oh, <laughs> oh my Hello. God. <laughs> oh, Hello may I shake you by the hand, sir? Good neck. Oh. Grief. Oh. <laughs> Genuine. Radio royalty. Oh Radio. my goodness me! Thank you very much. Absolutely. Dave, I, it's the first time I've read this. Yourself. I've never read this. <laughs> I've never read it. <laughs> I've never read it. No. Ladies wow. and gentlemen, everyone else in between. It's Tony Blackburn in the studio, and Tony, you, your face adorns. Oh my goodness! The me, display. Yes. Do you remember Tony Blackburn pop special? That was a few three? years ago, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember that. Yeah, very much so. Yes. Congratulations on your hundred years of being together, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Tony, uh, to put our digital decade into context, yeah. how many years have you been broadcasting? Uh, 60. On, in, on July the 25th, it'll be 60 years. Yeah, I started in 1964 on Radio Caroline. Yeah. yeah. Uh, July the 25th, four o'clock in the afternoon. Wow. And uh, been talking nonsense ever since. Really. <laughs> so how old were you? How old were I? Yeah. 81. No, how old were you? Oh, I, well, I, was, oh, I wasn't 81 in 1964, no. Uh, I was 21. 21. 21 years That's old, yeah. so cool. Yeah, I'm 81 now. Because I'm yeah. fascinated by Radio Caroline. It must have been so... Where were you broadcasting from? Uh, we were three and a half miles off the coast of Frinton <laughs> in Essex, wow. where we were eventually shipwrecked. Actually, we were shipwrecked in a 10-force gale. And uh, nobody came out to see us. <laughs> That's incredible. Except the local police force, who said how much they were enjoying the programmes, uh, took us back to the police station, gave us a cup of tea and sent us home. Wow. But it was, yeah, it was three and a half miles off the coast of Rindon. There was a whole load. Um, initially, there was Radio Caroline, then Big L Radio London. That's the one I really loved. That's yeah. the one I went to. And then we had Swinging Radio England. It was like an invasion fleet. I mean, Frinton on Sea, where nothing ever happens. I mean, they, it was, they couldn't believe what had happened to them. Because until Radio 1 came along, there was no... no sort of pop music. There wasn't a young was a station no. for young people on the BBC, was well, this? Well, that was the idea of it, to change the monopoly at the BBC because um, there wasn't any. So we went three and a half miles. We had to go uh, through customs and everything. We were meant to be going to Holland, but for three years we never got there. <laughs> and uh, so we, um, yeah, we went out there. And uh, if you're in territorial waters, they've extended it to 10 miles now, but territorial waters, you can basically do it whatever you like. We flew under the Panamanian flag. 
And um, it was it was just tremendous fun. I loved every moment of it. And we we did eventually, um, you know, change change broadcasting yeah. really because well, I joined the BBC. And then we have an, another monopoly <laughs> when yeah. the pirates have come. But then we had commercial radio came along. Well, yeah. this is essentially our Radio Caroline, this studio. Yeah. Because we, we're still at the BBC, but we're now far enough away from the building that we are allowed to um, sort of mention the odd brand, for example. Yeah. That's a great idea. <laughs> Samsung. <laughs> yeah. What brands are you plugging at the moment? Then? Samsung <laughs> and Sanyo, just for a bit of balance. <laughs> and... Another one. Uh, Hot point. <laughs> <laughs>